What is going on everyone? My name is Austin Jadelski and today I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on how to do realistic lighting within Maya. So quickly here I'm going to show you guys the layout that I'm using just so that you understand the way the lighting is and the way it's going to come into the room. So it's a very simple room, just has windows on one side. Here's the render cam that I'm going to be using. Essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to use one main key light, an IBL, and then portal lights to fill the actual room. So first off, what I want you to do is make sure that you have Mental Ray enabled, so just come up to your render settings, make sure that Mental Ray is turned on. Inside the actual settings themselves, come over to the Common tab and make sure that Enable Default Light is turned off. I have my quality set pretty low just to keep the length of the podcast down. The first thing I want you to do is come over to the Scene tab, come over to Individual Space Lighting and hit Create. Come over to the folder, click it, and click your HDR. Now you can see that my actual HDR is imported in here. You can actually rotate the IBL and make it the direction that you want. I want the sun to directly come inside the room. Next, come under the IBL shape node. And down here, you'll see the emit light button. So what that will do is we'll actually make the IBL emit light into the room. Here's a quick render just to show you what it's doing. Now that you can see what it's doing here, you can see that it's actually filling the room with a little bit of light, but it's still not quite what we want. As you can see in the background, there's a sun, but in no way is that projecting onto the actual floor or anything like that. What we're getting here is a bunch of specular highlights, but there's no actual lighting itself that's changing. So what we're going to do is come up to create lights, directional light. So now we're using this actual direction light to mimic the sun in the background. This is going to be our key light. So what I did was I just took the key light and I precisely lined it up where I thought that the sun would be coming inside. Next, you take the color and you can sample the actual background. So what I did was I just sampled a pixel out of the sky to get the actual color of the light. Next, I just lowered the intensity just a tad bit just because it's not a very bright sun. Next, I want you to come down to shadows and turn on use ray trace shadows. What I also did was I bumped up the light angle a little bit to diffuse the actual line of the directional light. Now this is going to be our key light. Here's a quick render to show what it's doing compared to our last one. Now you can see side by side what that actual light is doing. So this is the light that we just added in versus the old lighting. As you can see, it added just a tad bit of fill light into the room as well as it gave us this nice key light across the floor like we should have from the sun. Now I really like the way that this is coming out, but I still feel it's a little too dark over here on this side of the room. This is where the portal lights are gonna come into play. So next, I want you to come up to Create, Lights, Area Light. We're gonna bring it over here to this side, increase the size, rotate it, and we're gonna line it up with this window here as closely as possible. I'm gonna scale it in Y just a tad, and then scale it outward in, in X. So the first thing that I want you to do is come up to the top here, and turn on use light shape. This will turn it into a mental ray light. Now once we turn this into an actual portal light, none of these are gonna actually affect the light anymore. So what we want to do is come down to the bottom here, come under light shader, click on this, click mental ray lights, and then click Mia portal light. Now this is gonna be our new one. So what a portal light does essentially is it, it samples the IBL behind the actual light and then projects that light into the room. Now since we added the actual portal light shader into the light, this is going to be what controls the intensity. So I'm going to bump up the intensity just a tad bit, as well as turn on visible. Now we're going to do a render just so you can see how it's affecting the room. Now as you can see, we have a much more realistic fill light. So compared to our old render that was kind of dark, the new portal light actually fills the room based off the IBL. Without the use of portal lights, we'd have this very drastic light fall off that wouldn't match the actual lighting itself anymore. One thing that you should take note of is that by using portal lights, it increases your render times drastically. Just by adding that portal light alone, it added almost five minutes to my actual render time. I'm going to do one last final render here just so that you guys can see the final image without the grain. Well, here was a quick tutorial on how to do realistic lighting using Mental Race portal lights with Inside Maya. Once again, my name is Austin Jadowski and thanks for watching.